welcome back to my youtube channel today we're going to do a doyen makeup look and i believe this is a chinese look so i've seen a couple of people on tiktok doing this doyen makeup and it's like okay i'm just gonna show you videos basically so it's so girly i'm a woman so but it's so girly it's so i don't know it's supposed to make you look young and yeah it mostly emphasizes on the eyes and lots of blush um i've seen a couple of dark-skinned people doing this doing makeup too that's why i decided to hop on the trend and i'm going to try as best as possible to make the chinese proud <laughs> all the africans First off, we're going to prime our face and we are going to use our usual Maybelline primer. And I honestly put excess. This is just way too much for me. Disgusting. But anyway, proceeding. So I had to also prime my neck because clearly my pores were not going to take all that primer. It was just going to be bad. Anyway, now that we are glistening, we're going to do our eyebrows. Hell no! She never started with her eyebrows. She started with concealer. So, as you can see, she put concealer behind her hand. But I'm not going to do that. And then put it under her eyes. And I'm just going to use the Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer. And this is the shade Caramel. That I'm going to apply all over my eyes. Too light. The shade is too light. But luckily, we are going to cover it with foundation. And as you can see, she applied foundation at the back of her hand. And I'm going to do the same for this case. So I've just used the Clinique uh, Even Better Foundation. And this is the shade Spice. Very beautiful shade of foundation. I love it. And now I'm going to apply it all over my face, including part of that concealer, just to even it out. And then next, she did her nose. A nose contour. As you can see, she's just brushing it. I don't know exactly what she did, but I believe it's a contour. So I'm going to contour my nose the way I know best. And as you can see, I'm mixing that Makeup Revolution bronzer together with a, a concealer again. The same Fit Me concealer. And then she dabbed a little highlight at the tip of her nose. I don't know. I feel like I've elongated my nose with this contour more. But who knows? A nose is a nose. We're going to then apply some setting powder on the side of the nose just to brighten up the area next to the contour. And the setting powder that I'm using is the Black Opal setting powder. That's the shade Dark. Then after that, she did blush. And as I told you from the beginning, this found this makeup look is blush, blush beast, brush beast, brush beast, blush beast. So she did apply a lot of powder blush, mixing it, doing what, but I'm just using the Crayola Lip and Cheek Crayon. I don't know if it's supposed to go around the eyes too. Do not copy me. I'm just trying to recreate this Doyan makeup and... I just felt like that blush just got absorbed into my skin. It wasn't visible. So I applied a second layer and I'm just tapping it in with a brush just to make sure that it exists on my skin. It's really hard for reds to like show up on dark skin. So I'm going to do um, eyeshadow again. And I've decided to go in with that pinkish eyeshadow that looks sort of like blush. And I'm just applying it both on my eyelid upper and lower lid yeah as you can see it's created a really really nice you know eye look and then now we're going to just color in our uh, our eyeliner she really rubbed that on her eyes so i'm just trying to, as best as possible to recreate that uh by pulling um you know it's just like a tiny wing it's just like some smudged eyeliner uh-huh and I'm not using a liquid eyeliner, I'm using a crayon one because a liquid one will not work for that look. And then after that is when you go in with a liquid eyeliner and do kind of a wing. And this is what I'm doing now, a wing. Yes, I've sped it up because nobody wants to see you dwell on one look at the same time. And then after doing the wing, I'm just trying to smudge it in with my Estee Lauder brush that has a smudger. So I've just tried to smudge that out. 
then she does go in to create like lower lashes um from other doyen makeup looks that i've seen they just clump their lower lashes together in clumps in like huge clumps but because i don't have lower lashes that are long enough i'm i'm going to just draw them in and i'm also going to contour my eye bags to be honest that is what they were doing it's sort of like you contour your eye bags and you emphasize them make them more visible yeah so you just kind of like contour them with like a contour shade and then like that's when you actually do your lower and upper lashes so for upper lashes i'm using a mascara and i've had this mascara for the longest time it's even a miracle it's not dry i lost my other mascara i need to buy more mascara um the false lash trend has actually made me stop buying mascara but i think i need to get another one um and then we're going to go in with highlighter and for highlighter i'm using uh the revlon highlighter because my other highlighter which i love using will not be visible for this look i just tossed away the brush because the brush wasn't helping and i just used a finger to apply that highlighter next it's lips and for lips you know that i'm an african and my lips are super massively huge i'm trying to reduce them by applying more foundation around my lip area and then after that we are going to focus on applying the lipstick in the center of the lips so we are not going to start from the top of the lips the way i normally do like drawing up an x or whatever i'm just going to apply it at the center of my lips and then blend that in by smooshing my lips together so i'm just using a revlon lip vinyl um and that's the shade she's on fire and then uh, the last step she actually does is her brows. You thought they don't completely do brows. You're absolutely wrong. This makeup look requires that you do your brows, but in a very, very natural, natural shape. And she did them at the end of the makeup. So I'm just going to put on my wig and my accessories. And this is almost the finished look. But I have to offset that blush because it's excess. So I'm applying a little bit of my setting powder by Black Opal under my eyes just to offset it. And this is it, guys. This is it. Mm -hmm.